Hello everyone and welcome to what's going to be the let's play of Victoria Ultimate, which is a mod for Victoria 2. And as you can see here, it runs the time span from 1604 to the future in 2023. Or what this guy will believe, whoever the mod creator believes 2023 will look like. So this is the world of 1604. Pretty accurate from the looks of it. And Spanish South America. Let's see what 2023 will be. Let's see how up to date it actually is with the world. Okay. So he has the dismemberment of the United Kingdom. Uh, Belgium being split into two. Oh, look, he's already added the Crimea. Macedonia being a free nation. I don't know if it is. I don't think it is. It might be. I could be wrong. Uh, South Sudan is in the game. Huh. Republic of the Congo and then the Congo. The United Islamic Republic and then the Islamic Republic of Iran. Kurdistan. You can play as Israel or Palestine. India. The People's Republic of China as with Xinjiang and Tibet free. North Korea and South Korea apparently in, I don't know, uh, nine years. No, a little bit more than that. Are still separated. The Republic of Taiwan is still its own country. Indonesia looks good. Australia. Fiji, huh? Hawaii. U.S. is the, wow. That's a sad future if that's the case for the United States. Anyway, we're going to be playing uh, from the end of World War II, the Cold War, beginning on May 6, 1942. So, um, yeah, and we're going to play as the UK. Just because we're, we're a fall, we're not a falling, but we're a empire in decline at this point. So... Cold War map. Germany or West Germany and East Germany. And of course your Warsaw Pact. The Soviet Union, the Republic of China, the People's Republic of China. America owns Japan right now, the occupation of Japan, along with the dividing of the Korean Peninsula. So we're going to play as England. So let's do it. All right, so we have Great War, obviously. Here it is, England with Big Ben. Oh, Paris has the Eiffel Tower. Does Berlin have anything cool? No. Does Russia have the Kremlin? Where's Moscow? I can't see it. I know it's here somewhere. I cannot see it. It's too much forest. There's St. Petersburg. I don't know. Somewhere in over here. I know that. But. So here is Cold War. Uh, the world. The Republic of China and the People's Republic of China. And they're already at war. Their civil war has begun just as the war has ended. So. They've obviously redone the technologies for this. And, uh, I believe I have the nuclear weapon. I don't remember what that's on here. The secret of the atom. The atom bomb. Allows nuclear weapons facility and the nuclear weapons. Once, it at, once I build a factory, or whatever you build nukes in, I'm assuming it's some sort of a factory. So Canada still has its, uh... For some reason, it's in the sphere of the U.S. Germany's not allied with me or anyone. So let's do my first tech as global communications for satellites. I don't know what satellites are. I guess like space satellites. 
could possibly be actual, you know, country satellites, like the Union here. So, and let's just uh, start it up and see what happens. Oh, the rise of Zionism. Uh, Zionism, a Jewish movement advocating the return of the Jews to their ancestral homeland, has grown in popularity over the years, and many Jewish organizations are now offering to send migrants there. It is said that the rise of Zionism is partly due to the increasing intolerance by national uh, elements in European nations uh, who view Jews as profiteering internationalists due to their nomadic culture and close ties with the banking profession. Troubles brewing. So, oh God. So, Israel gains all of Palestine as a core. So, uh, I think they do at least. Yep, they do. Alright, and then I have a gold rush of sorts. So, I'm thinking the way I'm going to play this is, I'm, over time, I'm going to release the African nations. Very slowly, over time. But I want to hold on to British India and the Orient as long as possible. Oh. I'm considered a superpower, apparently. I don't know why the UK is a superpower at this point, but okay. As you can see, it gives you a whole, whole lot of bonuses until the end of time. Why am I a superpower? I thought the two... I'm pretty sure the two superpowers are supposed to be the Soviet Union and the US. The Soviet Union is just behind me in superpower status. So let's raise tariffs a little bit. Until I can get my economy really going. The HMS something is all of the carrier names. I guess it's a placeholder. So let's build an army. Uh, I don't think I have any army in England. So let's, so let's build tanks. So let's build... Let's build armor. You can also build, uh, oh no, I don't know what that said. But you can also build fighter squadrons, which are actually very useful. I mean, I don't really know how useful they actually are. You can't, you can't like fly them around, unfortunately. So we're losing a lot of money, apparently. Whoa. Oh, we are no longer considered a superpower. Damn. We were a superpower for a very short amount of time. But I'm sure, wow, my administrative ability is god-awful. So let's just pour money into it. Pour money into it for the British Empire. Let's also do the National Banking Act. Central Bank of Britain. I'm not going to restore the academia, but I am going to try to do the British Federation, which is uh, by granting all of our white colonies at the same time privileges those overjoyed by uh, those enjoyed by British citizens, and will expanding direct political representation to these realms. We could build the foundation of a long-lasting intercontinental British superpower. So we need standing with Canada which is in the sphere of the US, so it's going to be very difficult to usurp that. Uh, we also need, nope, not that. Oh. We need Australia, New Zealand, I believe. And South Africa. So we definitely need to gain standing in these regions. Also, I guess the U.S. just deletes their army here every time. I don't know why. They won't accept, so let's try and wiggle our way to having Germany our... Wait, what the hell? Baden. Baden doesn't exist. Neither does Bavaria or Württemberg. So I guess that's still a bit bugged. I've never seen that before, in all honesty. 
And we can also leave the United Nations, which is just... What do we get for the United Nations? Here we go. What, member of the United Nations, maximum military spending down, prestige is up, causes belly, acquisition speed, and infamy. We can also create the British Commonwealth of Nations if we have globalism. So, let's continue. Maybe I can get say, immediately the discredit of our nation. France doesn't like us. And these guys are in America's sphere of influence. So, we have 6,000 men stationed in Germany. So, let's take a look around the world real quick. As you can see, it's the Cold War. There's British India. We own British India, which is Pakistan, India, and Burma. We also have, what is this, Brunei, or Borneo, and uh, Malaysia. Laos is free. And the Republic of China, under Chiang Kai-shek, I believe, yeah is fighting the People's Republic of China under Mao Zedong. And it looks like it's going very well for the Republic of China, a, uh, very unhistorically. So I think our first thing to do is gain some influence. And let's keep Tibet a free country. Bring it into my sphere. Keep tab on Nepal and Bhutan. So if I haven't mentioned it, I'm going to try and hold on to India as long as possible. I'll release a lot of this and this, you know, and this, but I'm going to try and hold on to India as long as possible until I get to the point where it is not feasible keeping it anymore. That's the to the point where I'm going to, uh, that'll be the point where I'd, I'd either release it or I'd just let the rebellion win. I'd probably end up releasing it as its own free power, but as long as I'm there, let's build an army here. We need a standing army in India, so let's lots of Bengali soldiers, British guardsmen, And uh, we definitely need some tanks. Gotta build tanks and troops in India. And maybe um, ally with the new German state here. So let's start doing some fighter squadrons here. We definitely need air superiority. I think India is going to be my Vietnam, unfortunately, though. As much as I'd love it to be uh, a success. So let's just build an army there for now. But as you can see, I can build an army almost everywhere. But I don't have very many. I have one navy, and it's all aircraft carriers. I don't know if that's good, I don't know if that's bad, but I'm going to build some battleships. Uh, imprison him. But I'm going to build some battleships just because I know the effective effectiveness of the battleship. And I'm pretty sure at this point Britain still had plenty of battleships. And let's upgrade these naval bases. Some of them are 1800s old. Some of them are, like, level 6 naval bases. I mean... So, let's keep... I don't want to build dreadnoughts. It's too old. Look, they're too slow. Actually, I think they're faster, somehow. And their attack is better. Wait, what? Their hull is better. I thought the dreadnought was not as good. Firing range 75... Fine range 80. Maybe I was wrong. I don't know. Let's, let's build a couple of dreadnoughts. And let's build a couple battleships. I don't know what the point. I don't know why that's like that. I think I should put Ireland in my sphere of influence. 
I'm gonna try to, they're actually in, oh, well, whose sphere are they in? They're, everyone's just being discredited or their things are being shut down. So let's just, let's bring Ireland into the sphere of the UK, much as it is. Um, how's Germany doing? Usually Germany starts a war and they'll accept my their, my alliance. I found diamonds in Africa, apparently. So I have 6,000 men's, un, or men's, men, under Joseph Campbell in Gotting, Got, Gottingen, Gottingen, something, right next to Brunswick and Hanover. I think I'm going to move these troops to Hamburg, just in case. Is this the DDR? It is the DDR, and this is the, would what would be the FDR, I think, the Federal Democratic German Republic or something. Apparently, Germany has great relations with the uh, Nationalist Chinese. Oh, they torched the Summer Palace. Man. Wow, the Republic of China has just defeated Communist China. I don't know how communist China is supposed to win that war in all honesty. Huh. So these guys immediately move to uh, great power status. So the way this game works is there are two superpowers, of course, the U.S. and the so or the way this mod works. There are two superpowers, the U.S. and the Soviet Union, and the rest of these are great powers that can still influence the world, but they're not at the tier that these two are. If you know what I mean. So, like the Republic of China, these normally this would just be the eight great powers. But these two, uh, these two spots really hold uh, sway. They really hold more sway. Being a superpower, you get a ridiculous buff, as you saw at the beginning, till the end of time. So I can increase my sphere in South Africa. So let's just bring up the priority of South Africa and increase them so that they'll be in my sphere. Germany can be in my sphere. Even though, good, they're in the US sphere. Hopefully that means the Soviet Union and East Germany will not attack. I'm hoping, usually, not all the time, but sometimes, the U.S. kind of just builds NATO of its own accord. It'll kind of just ally all the NATO countries to the point, whoa, to the point where um, they'll have, oh, here it is. Germany, aid for the German restoration of East Germany. Of course we're going to accept to help our ally, and they're immediately being invaded by the DDR here. Luckily for them, I have a fleet ready, and I have a force ready of, I don't know, how many men? I don't know if I can fit all these guys on this, on these boats. Um, no, I cannot. There'll only be two that won't be going. The two London Guard, the 6,000 men will stay home. And the rest of the carriers will sail. Actually, I think I can get them to go to Hamburg. Go to Hamburg. There we go. So 